Hello everyone, it's Cress aka Talk Guys. It's time for a thrift store and rummage sale finds video for the week of July 11th through the 17th. And I actually have quite the haul this week. Uh, so, uh, I did kind of get a theme of funny things a lot this week, but I pretty much have a huge variety. So, I guess I'll start with what's on the floor so I don't forget it. Got this in a free box. It does not have the set in it, but I figured Lego storage is Lego storage. And right now I have them in other plastic containers, so I could transfer them. Rita snapped up these transparent archival bags, and I guess some other transparent bags. And then I grabbed this from the freebie box, which is a Christmas tree removal bag. So, assume those might come in handy. <sighs> Alright, so I guess I'm going to start with the funny things. So, yay for blue painter's tape that doesn't actually take tape off. So, this is like a little soap dish. It says it's made by Rosenthal, Germany. And it's just such the sweetest thing. I paid a dollar, but it's so funny. So, can you tell what's just happened? <laughs> the girl has taken a dive into the well. And he looks all dapper like, oh great, they probably were at their wedding. And that happened during a picture. She decided to lean on it and fell right in. So... And on a similar note, at the next sale, I came across these two things for a buck each. Oh, I see. She was covering. Well, it's not naked boobies. They technically have clothes on. This says it's by World Creations Oromiko Japan. And this one, too, in their little wall plaques. This one, she said her father had them. This one says, everything I have is yours, baby. And he's a drunk. <laughs> And then decisions, 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 which girl to dream about. Again, going with funny. My theme was funny. Oh, gentle. Then then for what would probably turn out to be a quarter, it's marked 50 cents, but I had a $5 off 10 at St. Benny's. So this says it's over 200 sayings at this mountain meadow pottery. So it probably cost me a quarter. Sometimes I laugh so hard that tears run down my leg. Now, how funny is that? <laughs> Please ignore any text message in the background. I now have to text a third of my clients to set up telemed and phone consults for the month. So my phone is constantly going off now. Um, so I was glad you priced these together because I would have hated to leave one without its brother. I do think the tip of this wing has broken off but for three dollars for both i decided to rescue them because they're very pretty and i bet you they glow under the black light with that orange for magnanese not possibly but it's a shame his little wing tip although it does feel like it's been sanded it is not sharp so I don't know if they broke it off in the manufacturing process or if someone just sanded the end when it lost its tip. But, you know, long bill duck can, well, long bill, but not as long as the other one, but definitely related. And one has the sticker that says, Made in Italy, Murano. Really? Really? Okay. I'm just going to put these in front of Rita's clock on the shelf. Do you not want to stand? That is a little disturbing. Stand up. All right, on the figurine side, Dad threw this at me. This was 50 cents. He's like, here, you like dragons. So I grabbed it. I don't know if I'll keep it or if I'll sell it, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Cute little red eyes. I also seem to have a theme of mugs this week overall. Oh, there are a lot of those. I did pick this up for a quarter. It says dry is not an option. Magic Kingdom Splash Mountain. So we got Mickey. And then continuing the funny thing. This was a dollar. 
It says, what does it take to do the job of three men, one woman? And you've got the female beaver with a chainsaw. Thought that was cute. And then this was 50 cents at the St. Benny's in Marquette. And it's a musical note bakery thing. Got him on the beaters. So I thought that was cute. It's by Boyton, which I believe. Well, actually, it's a Dayton Hudson in Marshall Field, 1991. It reminded me of a Boyton, though. This, I think I paid a quarter for. It's a, called The Round Table by American Greeting Cards Designers Collection. And it's medieval times. He's in the cell. They're chatting. Looks like it's gonna be one of those days with the rack on it. Thought that was a cool mug. I picked up for 79 cents what I assumed is almost Odegary, but I couldn't read under the thing and I'm gonna have to soak that off. But it definitely says fine porcelain, but it has birds on it. <laughs> so you have a cardinal on this side. And I guess a different cardinal. They have similar shapes, but maybe that's the male because males are all colorful and the female's duller. And this is my only Salvation Army fund for a week, which I did pay a dollar for. I donate. I rounded up to donate to the charity, the food pantry. But it's just this cute mug jungle theme. You got an elephant, giraffes, lion. Really classic looking lion there. And the one piece of jewelry I bought, this was half off, so it was only two fifty, And obviously something I could never wear to work since I'm an addictions counselor and wearing alcohol-related things would be stupid. But I have not been able to research this yet, but just on how many little tiny things are on there of drinks, I thought it must be worth something. Uh, so it looks like it's got, like, Mai Tais and other cocktails, wine glasses. What has... That must be a Bloody Mary. It has celery in it. Uh, but I haven't looked up the thing yet. <clears throat> then I picked this up. It was 75 cents. It's probably half of that. Again, uh, it is marked Stingle Pottery, Trenton, New Jersey, Wild Rose. And I assume it's complete. I haven't had time to look up since I got home. I think it just holds like a candle. But there might have been a top for it at one point. But this is the first stangle I have found in the wild here that doesn't have a chip or crack on it. Normally they're such in bad shape. So even if it ends up being only part of a thing, I can list it as a replacement for someone who may have broken the bottom. You know, although I'm not 100% sure. I assume there was something else laying on top. But I thought I'd rescue it. Oh, more mugs. Alright, I didn't bring all five of these in. So this one's the roses. They are Anchor Hawking Tang, because of the top. They're all orange lid tops. Tang containers. And I got one roses, two lilies of the valley, valley a covered wagon, and another flower. So I think I'll separate them out until... A lot of two uh, for each of the flowers and then sell the covered wagon one separately. That way the box doesn't get too heavy either. But I paid six for the whole set of five, so $1.20 a piece. Didn't seem that bad for uh, plastic that was not cracked on the lids and the glass is fully intact too. So just didn't want to carry those all in at once. So, and then today these say 50 cents each, but I probably paid a quarter for them each today. So, I got two sets of green uh, stacking cups, Smart Japan. This one has kind of that pattern going. And then these two have this pattern going with kind of the blue glaze drip thing going. So, I'll sell them, of course, separately in their own lots, but let's put these back over here. And then I finally found... A squirrel on a nut. He was three, so I probably paid a dollar fifty for him today. And of course, that does not want to come off. Look, it's not chipped on the inside either. 
Every one I found for the last three years has been shipped galore somewhere. And um, even he looks in pretty good shape. So I bought him. These tend to sell online. I'm not sure if this was a marriage. They do look like they were made with the same glazing in that, but that maybe some one had mismatched the lids just slightly. It doesn't quite close all the way there. But maybe that's the tape holding out place. Now there's definitely some crazing in here. So it's definitely an older paint. Then I grabbed this. Uh, so it's probably 75 cents for me. A set of four coasters in a holder. I do love how they're using masking tape and not scotch tape now at St. Minnie's Ish Brewing. And I'm just checking. They're all, all the same American bear image. American Expedition. So they're all that same bear. Then I picked this up simply because it had a skull on it and it looked fun. Uh, so this was a dollar. It's an Ed Hardy vintage tattoo eyewear. And surprisingly enough... The glasses are still in there, and they are the original glasses because they have the surf skeletons on them. Now, I have to see if these are actually scratched or not. I don't really see scratches. They just look dirty, but I have to clean them yet. But, unfortunately, I don't wear contacts, so... Ooh, those are even a little tight on my face, and I have a narrow face. But, they do look kind of cool. Although my hair would cover the skulls anyway, so I will likely sell those. Whew. The longer video, that's half a pile. Alright, so I grabbed this for a quarter. It's got its original tag, so I'll try and sell it on eBay. It says Team Pontiac and kind of has this cool little logo of a car with the you know flags all flying in the breeze and then I bought this intending to wear it for a quarter but it ended up being a kid's size so I might either donate that to my father's collection or try to sell it it doesn't look very worn but there's no new tag with it this I paid a quarter for. It is a Corel Coordinates burner cover set. You get two 10-inch covers and two 8-inch covers. And it is still sealed. And I have not looked up the pattern yet, but it does look like tulips to me. So I figured that would sell well. Everyone has their favorite Corel pattern. Snag this for 50 cents, so for a quarter apiece little uh, pumpkin stained glass and they really are stained glass <laughs> they aren't just plastic this I actually got the last month and I kept forgetting it in the car it was in the free box it's just a bunch of uh, Timex watches they ended up being newer because on the back they have like the Timex website but I figured if nothing else they might be good for parts or if I take them apart and use the gears inside for crafts so I grabbed them. Okay. This is both a tin and a puzzle for a quarter, so I gotta start getting back into puzzles. That last puzzle burned me, though. Hopefully it's all here. Otherwise, it's still a cool tin for a quarter. It says, at fountains or in bottles. Coke. And then I picked up this little Odegary, uh... Spoon rest marked Odegary Japan and it was only a dollar. They were half off at Pack Rats for that. And this I paid the two fifty four at Pack Rats. It is a cute little penguin corkscrew. And uh, I think if I could find a dish to go with my other penguin bowl, they would make a really cute set together, although they aren't exactly the same. I found one like a month and a half ago at Goodwill without its bowl. And I've been looking for the bowl ever since in the metal section, but no one brought it up. But it was a Restoration Hardware Penguin, but I thought those would look cute together. Oh, oh, don't hit that. Okay, then I got this cool mid-century modern copper sailboat. It is a bit tall for shipping, but I couldn't resist it for two. Plus, we'd driven really far for this rummage sail. <laughs> 
it was in the back road. So I kind of felt like I had to buy something from there. I did buy that soap dish from there too. I got something from the free box. But, and I'm missing my marble book. I know I got a little marble book from them, like a marble identification book. I figured that would be useful, but I think it fell out in the car. Uh, I don't see that anywhere. But it is signed. I just can't read the signature right now. T something. I can't read that. Uh, it's right under there, though. But nice little stone marble-ish slab. And it's actually quite tall. Uh, it's got to be a foot tall. So. Uh, set that down gently. Oh. I grabbed a marble identification book. Not sure where that ended up. I got these from Pack Rats. They were half off and they will fit me. So they were $2.50. And they're just this cute quail pattern. They reminded me of some poster. I thought for a second it was Woodstock, but Woodstock's a dove. So I'm not sure, but they reminded me of a poster. Then we have toys. I got him because he's very clean. He's a gun, but... He makes croaking noises. I figured he'd sell. He's cute. I picked up Tig. Now I already own this one. So this will go with that bowl and the little tiny figure of Rick I found. So I'm starting to, I think I'm going to have a shirt tails lot before long. I think his uh, bottom of his lip is turned the wrong way. <laughs> I sold one of these before, so I will, of course, sell him, and I will see if I have any more elf books to go with him. I think I sold one like this with a few elf books before, and a lot. And then, this is still sealed, and I suspect he glows in the dark, because look what happens when you put the light on him. He kind of glows already. Um, but it is one of Casper's uncles. Uh, I paid 50 cents, so figuring he's still in this plastic. I got her for 50 cents. She, I did really well with a similar looking fairy by, that uh, was doing chocolate chip cookies thing. So the only thing wrong with this is one of the uh, bowls has a slight paint loss to it. It doesn't feel like it's uh, chipped, but there's just a little discoloration ending, but it's a little fairy. I sold my last one for like 25, I think. And stretch. Alright, so I paid a dollar for this and it wasn't for the tin. It was for the UP ornament inside. So I live in the Upper Peninsula. I live about there. <laughs> and that is what we do with our hand. They also have this other little hand cross stitch little ornament in there along with the uh, case. But I just wanted the nice UP ornament for me. Then Another sale for 50 cents. Always grab packing materials. It packs a set of 12 glasses for shipping. So I figured that would be useful. And then this I grabbed because it's still sealed. Only this little corner's cracked open a little. I paid $1.50. It's a de decorator wall plaque. Provides a colorful accent for any room. Award winner. And it has this cute kitty down here. And kind of Raggedy Ann, but not. It actually reminds me more of the character from Frank Albaum's Wizard of Oz. There's a Raggedy character in that. But pretty good size and still in its original plastic. So the colors are still bright and vibrant. Then we come to the CD, DVD pile and the one VHS tape. So pretty much it's Guilty Pleasures, uh, New Adventures of Pippi Longstocking. Batteries not included. And to go with my little sur other surf item, Surf Ninjas. God, I love this movie. And then I literally, the night before I went shopping at St. Vinny's on Wednesday, was like, I really want to see The Emperor's New Groove again. I haven't seen that in so long, and I don't have Disney+. Plus. So for a quarter, I figured I'd snag up the VHS copy at Pack Rats. I still have a VHS slash DVD player, so... <laughs> and it... You know, they did not have Kronk's New Groove, though, and I don't think I've ever seen Kronk's New Groove, so that's what I'm on the lookout for next. But, I believe that's everything except my marble book, which must be hiding in a box somewhere still, uh, falling down. So, 
But it was just a little identification book I paid a quarter for, and I think he threw in a, a little small bag of marbles with it. But uh, So that is it. I will link my Etsy and eBay stores down below. I also do have a Macari, but for some reason that never copies right for the link. Um, but they're all under Trash Katera Treasures. Thanks for watching.